I was just continuously being like a little horny f- all the time. My muscles have changed. Um, I think like I have more energy, I'm getting stronger. Um, I get frustrated a lot easier. Like if I don't get treated the way I believe I should be treated, I just kind of say this is not okay, you know? So I think I've become more confident. I'm literally like a teenage boy who's just like running around, you know, like, whoa, titties, you know, like, <laughs> even though like I've had sex before, it's just like, it was like, what? <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> Just a tad. Look at this. <laughs> oh boy. It's <laughs> Jordan. I'm slowly kind of coming to terms with the fact that like I'm making art and people like it. There's still a lot of like imposter syndrome where I'm like does everybody know that this is bullshit or is it just me? And then I'm like, but this isn't bullshit. Like you do this and it's fun and like, this is what you do. But there's still a part of me who's like, you're lying to everybody. And I'm like, but what am I lying about? And then my brain's like, you know, and I'm like, no, I don't know. So it's just like this like back and forth. Mm. <laughs> I'm ashamed. <laughs> I don't want people to think that I take myself too seriously, because I don't. If I see something that makes me laugh or something funny, I just kind of work that into the captions. One of my roommates somehow OD'd on, I think it was like Zanny's. So we ended up calling a friend of ours who like knows about drugs and shit. She was like, pop four benzers and call an ambulance. And that was the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. The fact that they wanted us to put more drugs into this person and then just call an ambulance. Stuff like that that I just overhear, I end up just either having it as the caption. And it's usually the people that I surround myself with that just throw out these like crazy one-liners that I just, I love. The main thing that draws me into like uni design, anything that I want to make, I can make in this world. And I design the whole world for myself. Whatever the human body can't do in real life, I can 100% achieve in this world. I can wake up and be like, whoa, that dream was crazy, bro. And then just like make it <laughs> in the software. It's like going back into like my past and creating all this shit that I can't do. Talking about my family is a bit weird. Right now, I'm just in contact with my mom and my sister, and that's exactly how I want it. My sister basically raised me with my mom, so we're very close. So I was in the circus with my whole family, uh -huh. except for my mom and my dad. Yeah. It was my sisters and I, and they were the stars, and I would just be on a skateboard in the jungle. And I was barely anything, just like this little fing kid doing jack shit wanted to be a part of like this really cool like family situation. So you were just on a skateboard? No, it's more impressive than that, Brian. Okay. It's some it's a little bit more nuanced. You wouldn't get it. Do you skate now? Not ever since the accident. <laughs> <laughs> My family, they're great, love them, or some of them, but um it was a pretty conservative upbringing, like very I would say it's pretty conservative. My whole life I was kind of fighting against like religion. To be honest, it was like one of the things that like fucked me up as a kid. I would always fight against it and be like, this is not my faith, this is not my religion, I want nothing to do with this shit. I acknowledge it's there, but I'm not like out here like sucking the rabbi's dick or anything. Like I just, I acknowledge it, you know? I think the only tag I follow on Instagram is color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen all of them. When I met Bueller's family, it was over Shabbos. Like that was the, that's the only time like I got to meet all of them. 
Fila is, her mother is not Jewish, her stepfather's super Jewish. Fila's mom loves the Jewish men. This would be mine. Uh, it's a little bit more professional than Fila's, I would say. Oh, f I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's fine. With Fila's folks being Jewish, I feel like I'm a part of their family. I'm being reintroduced to it, but in a, a more loving way. How do you manage to be queer in such a, like, intense religion sometimes? And I think the whole point is we just make it ours. Oh, beautiful. I think we're wearing the same, almost the same shirt, Oz. Like that uh, father, like a, a, an ungrateful son giving their dad a, a Christmas present, and this is it. <laughs> like a nice little shirt. Amen. Those are going to flourish in the new house. What? Your weed seeds. Do you grow those on purpose? <laughs> what, my hemp seeds? <laughs> Yeah. Look at how wealthy we are. <laughs> I need this you. is real gold. Mm. I need you to say the words hubris at least once. <laughs> Humorous. <laughs> is that what you want me to say? Hubris. Well, I swiped right <laughs> on we Bila. We met on Tinder. Yeah. I just got out of a serious relationship, and Bila was in the middle of at least how many? <laughs> <laughs> I was dating someone. Two people. I was dating someone. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got drunk really quickly. Yeah, we did like tequila shots. I brought a bottle of wine in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna pay for everything yeah. so she thinks I'm rich, but I had no money at the time as well. And I didn't really eat much after that week because I was just like, just gotta like spend the money so like, I can impress her. And then we spoke about how much we love food. <laughs> Bila dropped me off. And that was the moment where I was supposed to like kiss her. But I was so nervous, I just said, Shaka Mahalo. <laughs> just like ran away basically and then yeah <laughs> it was disgusting <laughs> she was so upset i've always found bula to be like the most attractive and most like beautiful person i've ever wanted to be with or ever could be with the main thing i like love about bula is just like how nice she is she loves me so much that it makes me feel good about myself. She calls me out on my shit, which I need. Together, we just really work so well. Like, our communication is really good. We just care so much about each other and we want to make, like, any situation just work. He creates, like, a, like a family wherever he goes and, like, makes people feel so, like, welcome. <laughs> That's so it's cute. cute. Like, people really just, like, feed off your love, and it's, it's nice. Crazy. Yeah. I always used to, like, follow trans guys on Instagram, and it always been that was so unattainable. Like, I'd look at them and be like, whoa, that's cool. Not that I'm trans or anything, but if I was, that's cool. Before I even took testosterone, it was about three, four months of therapy. I had to go to a psychiatrist, I had to get back on meds, um, and just had to like, they, had, they just had to make sure that I was like mentally stable to do this. There were about 10 or 12 people who came with me to get my tea shot, and they were like just my little queer family. Two of my friends had been jawling the night before, and they ended up getting dropped off at the like doctor's place in their like drug dealer's car. And the drug dealer was just like this nice guy who was just like waving and he was like, well done, we're so proud of you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Today I'm showing off the new testosterone. Depot. Everybody was taking it really like emotionally compared to me. Like everybody was like, oh, well, say goodbye to your old self. And I was like, it's not, it's not like that. You know, I'm not like dying or anything. But everybody was really emotional about it. Like the trans community, the trans guys celebrate the, um, like, the year, if they've been on testosterone for one year, 
then they're like, yeah, I'm one years old because like this is when I was like basically starting my new life and like being rebirth. But that's not how I really see it. It's, it's not really like me being like restarted and rebirthed. It's just like another aspect of my life that just like kind of aligns into what I need. Did it work? No. Every time. <laughs> It's a, sometimes it's a hit or miss and it all just comes <laughs> out. <laughs> it's a fun game we play. I'm a teenage boy right now. I'm horny all the f***ing time. I was 100% only into girls and now I'm like, bye, very gay. Like, I totally get a dick, you know? Like, I would suck a dick, sure. Like, I would never even think about it like two years ago. Being able to become more like open to new things. I can be domed during sex. Me and Bula figured out that I could be a sub. I had no idea. I like, I was like choking. I don't want that shit. Then she did it, and I was like, that is the best orgasm I ever had in my whole life. One time we were watching like Guy Fairy, and he was making like a dank ass sandwich, and me and Bula were like, what? And the next thing you know, we would just smash it. <laughs> we just get really worked up by like really good looking food. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a bite. That's crazy. Long ways or? Okay, well, since we're all here on the bed, <laughs> I was, um, <laughs> I just ate a curry and then I masturbated like right afterwards. <laughs> Classic um, Bula. <laughs> I got like a bunch of chili in my vagina. <laughs> and it started burning immediately and I had to put, I just like Googled like all the solutions and they were like, pour milk on it, put yogurt on your vagina. So then I, I like sat in the shower and just like poured a whole tub of yogurt on myself. Just girl things, huh? Just girl things. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, got a bunch of chili up your cooch. In my head, I think people who are like super into the environment don't give a f about humans. And they're like, we love all souls. Except for like black people and POC people. And I just hate that. Right now, we need to focus on like the human crisis that we have. Black lives matter, black trans lives. That is a problem right now, you know? And. Any day of the week, I would rather help an uh, actual, like, human that's suffering than, like, an animal. I think my energy goes more towards my community, the queer community, and, like, helping as many people as possible that I can. A lot of people in our generation are like afraid that we won't even be here when we're grown up. And that's like a real fear, I guess. <laughs> I feel the opposite. <laughs> I think I'm fine with like not being here. There's been a lot of moments in my life where like I should have died. You know, when like you become accustomed to like almost dying, they like death doesn't really seem like such a big thing. I'm not scared for my own future, but if humans like were to just be eradicated, that would really be such a bummer. <laughs> like, that would suck, yeah. I can acknowledge that. Your new house? This whole thing. Whole thing? Yeah. A17. Are you sure you guys have been here before? We've been here once. Okay. But, uh, I don't remember anything. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I think I f***ed someone in this building once. We just signed a f lease, like that's something that we're really excited about. It's like the next step in our relationship, but also I think in my life and in her life. This is such a nice kitchen. I can see you cooking here. Full burning gas stove. That's the And there was a lot of fear and uncertainty and there were a lot of nights where like I didn't know what the f*** was gonna happen. Going to bed and not knowing like what's gonna happen is like a terrifying thing.
And in itself, I was still privileged that I had somewhere to sleep, but it was like wrapped in fear. I had the privilege to be able to like kind of escape that. And a lot of people don't have that. There's also like a dream of me to be exactly where I am now. You know, like when I was a kid, that's exactly what I wanted. Do you feel pretty in your Audi? Very pretty. Very pretty. No. <laughs> no, no. Not on the first date. No, no, no. 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 No,